Okay, thank you. Okay, so I will just give a small intro about myself before starting the session. And then after that, as what are the session topics we are going to cover for this entire thing and how the documents will be shared and then the recordings. And then if you have any doubts, how you can contact me and then in the middle of the session, if you want to have an interaction, everything actually what I'm going to discuss for today. Okay, so to start on with, my name is Murli. I have totally eight plus years of experience in the software industry. So in that for the past five to six years, actually what I'm into actually what automation. So first I started with actually what QTP. Then after that actually what Selenium. Then after that actually what I'm currently working on with APM mobile automation. Okay. So that's what I'm into. Then totally I have trained around more than 5,000 plus students still now. So actually what I take online training and then I also take direct training over there. And then I'm also a corporate trainer for IBM with Pro and Cisco. Also, I take guest lectures for actually uh, some colleges like actually what? Guest lectures also I used to take over here in Bangalore, actually what Cambridge, Bain, MIT, and then Hindustan, like those colleges also I have taken over here. So here, this is actually what totally, uh, this session is actually for Java and Selenium here. Okay, so how we will be starting and then how the sessions will go, everything if you see, I will be treating each and every topic in a way you guys don't know anything about it. That is, I'll be treating that actually what you have a zero knowledge on each and everything. Okay, so that's how every topic will be taken. So some of them already you might know Java or you might know Selenium. So you guys actually what might feel at the beginning, we are going a little bit slow, but very soon actually what we will come to the phase because actually uh, whenever you want to learn a program, there is a standard posture that need to be followed to want to, uh, if you want to make it actually what programming is easier. So what does that mean? The memory allocation part. Whenever you write each and every line of statement, there is a memory which will be allocated for it. Okay. So we need to know why the memory has been allocated and then when and then where. So these things is what actually first we are going to learn here. If we learn that part, understanding any language is always easier for us. Okay. So that's what we are going to do here. Okay. So first I will be starting with Core Java in this session. So in Core Java level, actually what if you see, it's like Java, it is separated into two parts. One is Core Java, another one is J2W. Okay, so core Java is just 40% of the entire Java. In that, again, we are going to learn only 70% of that in core Java because that is more than enough for our automation. Because we are not going to develop steps over here, we are going to confirm whether the developed steps are perfectly working fine or not. So, for that, we are using a tool called Selenium. It supports totally seven languages. In that, right now, we are going to actually what take care a Java as the language for our automation because widely in the industry, everyone uses Java for Selenium and currently everyone is actually switching on to Python, C sharp, all those things, but still everyone uses Java in the industry. Okay. So that's why actually what we are going with core Java and then with Selenium here. So there we will see, I'll also show you actually what are the topics that we will be covering also. I'll show you that. Then after Core Java, we will be starting on with actually what Selenium IDE. So if you see actually what Selenium is being split into three parts, IDE, then RC and then WebDriver. So these are the three actually what uh, different sections we have in Selenium. The first one which came into the industry is actually what IDE. Okay. Then it's just a record and playback tool. Then after that actually what we need there are a lot of limitations there that we need to overcome. So they came up with RC. But in RC, actually what we have some performance issues and then we have the server need to be started each and every time it gets hanged out, all those problems we were having. So that's why they came up with actually what the other options over there, which is 
Selenium web driver. That is when your uh, Google came up with actually what uh, combined with actually the ThoughtWorks team. So then they introduced the new tool called Selenium web driver. Then after that actually what that entirely captured the full market and everyone started to use Selenium here. Okay. So here first we will learn the basics of Selenium IDE. That is what is automation and then how to automate and why we need automation. All those things we will learn in IDE. And later on we'll jump on to actually what the add-ons of actually what Selenium. What are things means actually what we will be learning about the Firefox, Firefinder, Firepath, XPath and CSS. So these are the things. What is the necessity of learning these add-ons means that is when we go for any page, if I take this is my page. So here there is an inbox, here there is a stat. So these are all links. Okay every element has their own html property so if you see here i'll just inspect it can you see this is the property of the inboxed link the same thing if i go for it this is the property of the stat same thing if i go here therefore this is the property of the profile section here so like that Every element which has been displayed in the web page has their own property information. So all those property informations, we will be utilizing them to identify actually what the element during my automation. Time. So for that, these add-ons help me to get the property information. Okay. That's what we are going to learn here because why means so simple. There are two text box or there are two to three links which is present how my selenium will know perfectly i want to click on this link or i want to click on this text box over there based on the property information so that property information based on this we will be learning that's thing okay <coughs> then after that we will go on with selenium web driver okay so in Selenium IDE, we learned actually what, what is automation and then what is the need of automation and why we need to automate all those stuff. Then RC we have, but currently in the industry, no one uses it. But IDE actually also no one uses in the industry, but still we learn that because currently actually what, when you want to understand Selenium web driver, it is always best actually what to first learn the basics. That basics we are going to learn with the help of the Selenium ID. Then after that, when we learn Selenium web driver, it's always so easier for us to actually what understand the steps. Got it? That's the thing. Then after that Selenium web driver, then we will jump onto the framework. So in Selenium web driver, if you see, we will learn how to automate all the different kinds of elements in the web browser. So why it's called as web browser means it's a web page. Okay. So anything actually what that we open it over there through help of Firefox or a Google Chrome or an Internet Explorer or a Safari browser. Those are all called as web pages. Okay. Web browsers over there. Selenium can automate only web based automation only. Okay. So that's what we are going to do with the help of Selenium. So here we will learn to automate actually what? all the different kinds of element a link a button and then a checkbox a radio button and switching over we have two windows how to switch over from one window to another window and then do an action and then how to close the browser how to enter the url how to work on different types of browsers google chrome internet explorer how to work on it and also actually what we will learn how to work on with frames and then any window pop-ups comes over there how to handle that like all different kinds of elements which are all available, we will be learning it. Attach this application, how to work, everything we will be seeing here. Okay. I'll also share with you guys as what are the different types of elements that we will be working on. Okay. So all these things actually work, we will be working on it. Okay. So then after that, we'll jump onto the framework. So in the framework level, actually what in Selenium, right now we have two types of framework. That is one is actually what the j unit another one is test engine okay so here first we will be learning actually what the 
what is j unit what is distance the basics of it and then after that we will learn actually what what is and what is maven all those stuffs then after that we will learn about the page object model okay currently in the industry everyone uses page object model then after that actually what we will start to integrate all these tools and maven page object model everything in our framework then we start to write the code so what is a framework I means so simple right now we have a group of a team where we have around 1000 to 1500 test cases to automate so now what we will be doing means we will be writing actually what our code with help of a framework why with help of a framework we will be because it's like on a longer run if i have any issues on my test case it got failed okay so fixing that test case should be easier for me if i follow some standard practice that standard practice is what actually what my framework that is giving a name for the method or giving a name for a file or giving actually what a name for a variable or anything that is these type of actually what folders what name to be given and what are the file that need to be stored over there and then how to actually what finally get the report after my execution like all those steps actually what when we follow the standard practice that's called as a framework here that's what we are going to learn over in the framework so in the right now in the industry actually what jnet framework is a very old framework no one uses it but still there are some places actually what they use it but even though we will just see actually what how jnet framework works with help of a keyword driven approach so there are different types of approaches that are available so right now for the jnet we will use the keyword driven and then with and combination then the test ng framework if you see we will go with the hybrid driven approach what is this hybrid driven approach means so simple the combination of actually what the data driven plus modular driven that means we are going to see all the different kinds of approach over here so that it will be easy actually what whatever approach actually what they ask for you then along with that we will be seeing with actually what maven plus actually what the page object model concept everything okay so we have actually what learned java we have learned selenium web driver then we also know actually what how to actually what use the selenium web driver plus java into the framework we learned then after that next what we need to learn means that is we used to write the code we cannot have the code in our local system we always actually what need to actually what push the code to actually what a central repository okay a version control system we have to learn that is called as the github there are different tools in the market github svn like that so right now famous in the market everyone uses actually what github so that's what we are going to see right now okay so here we will learn about the github here so github is what means is a version control system what is this version control system is that is every time so for example there are five members in the team so each and every one actually what is going to actually what write the their own code then the next day morning actually what everyone should have the same code base over there okay i should not follow a separate code and then used to automate my system you should not follow everyone should follow actually what the same code base and then after that they need to write the code on top of it. so that's why end of the day when we have actually what written the code we will push the code to the central repository that is the github then like that the next person also he will push his code the third person also will push his code then the next day morning actually what when i pull the code from the central repository i will have the code of my uh, i will have the entire code base of my code plus the second person and then the third person code. then the next person also will pull the code he will have my code his code and then the other person code so that everyone will have the same code base whenever we are starting the work that's what github here okay so it's like a simple small topic only so in case if i have confused or something no worries it's so easy to learn each and everything i'll go in a very childish way 
as like you don't know anything okay we will treat in that way only so don't worry about that then after that we will learn about jenkins what is this jenkins means so i told you actually what we should not have the code in our local system like that i also should not run my code in my local system why because if my i have I automated actually what around 500 test cases to run all the 500 test cases takes actually what more than five hours or six hours of my time that means six hours my system will be occupied for my automation run which we don't want to do that so for that only actually what we use jenkins here so jenkins is what means actually what it's like actually what a build automation tool for me here uh, what kind of uh, things actually what Jenkins can do. So uh, in automation level, okay. So what I will do actually what I'll push my code and then I will give some commands over there actually what as what are the test cases need to be executed like that. Okay. So now what that will do means here, I will set up a time every day morning five o'clock you run and then every day actually what by evening actually what eight o'clock you run for it and then get me the report. And send a mail to me okay so that's what a Jenkins job easily for automation okay a lot of steps it can do as of now for the basics I'm saying so it's like the code will be run in actually what a separate server that is a Jenkins where it has the control okay so then after that it prepares a report and then sends me the mail so that is what a Jenkins will do okay every time whenever a new build comes what we will do means actually what we will run the code in Jenkins and then we will say to the developer okay we have executed the code and then these are the failures we have like that we will give an information so that actually what we will be clear that actually what what are the things that has been executed and then fail so these fails are because of actually what the new code push with the developers means we will tell them these are the issues it's a blocker we cannot start our regression please fix these issues and then come back to me i will start working on it that's what here we will be doing in the chat case got it so these are the topics and high level that we will be covering in our entire session got it so anyone has any questions so far guys so that as what topics will be covered and then anything anyone has any questions can everyone ping me in the chat window is yes if you have understood so far uh, hi Prajna. Uh, any questions okay good so now we have seen as what are the topics that will be covered uh, sorry, I'm not able to listen your voice. Um, sorry, I'm not able to. Uh, yes, so cucumber also actually what we will be covering. Sorry, I forgot that. So cucumber also actually what we will cover in the basics of it. Okay, not the in-depth level. So what is cucumber? The basics of it we will be covering the end of that also will become so what is cucumber right now here miss it's like right now most of them follow the agile methodology so cucumber is a way actually what uh, what it will do means it works with a gherkin language okay a jerkins language over here so it's like instead of following our test case the cucumber actually what it has a feature file over there where that will be like a test document for me. okay then it has a step definition and then it has a page file where we write our codes uh, logic everything in the page file there. so with that we have to execute so we will see the basics of that also that will be seen okay good so next thing uh, right now actually what we have seen as what are the topics that will be covered the next thing actually what we will see as how the session will run and then how i will be sharing the documents on those things okay. so documents level if you see uh yeah jagdish so uh there is a question from jagdish so can can you please elaborate what is keyword driven hybrid driven model driven approach 
okay so it's like right now based on our actually what application we have to decide as what type of framework we should take okay so if i have actually what a very small application and then after that i have only less number of test cases to automate over there it's always best to go with actually what keyword driven why keyword driven means it's so simpler and then faster actually for me to write the test case and then utilize it but on a longer run it is really tough for me to handle it okay yeah the documents actually what the everything i will just tell you as yes, what are the documents will be covered uh, i'll also share that one right now once we finish this then modular driven is what means actually what based on actually what we have a very big application so we have a lot of number of test cases over there so as per actually what for me uh, each and every module level we will separate folders and then we will follow a standard practice for me actually what to capture the reports and then the page object model utilization everything we will follow over there so for those things and then we will go with actually what modular driven in case if we have more number of forms over there to fill where we have a lot of data to be captured on so those things actually what we will go with data driven then hybrid driven means any uh, methodology we are going to combine okay if you are going to follow the standard practice of only one approach then we will go with the name of that if you are going to follow different approaches in my framework then the combination of multiple will be called as a hybrid driven approach that's it okay so now documents level how i will be sharing it so each and every topic level actually what it is documented for us so for example if we take java each and every document which i have created over there has been created based on my students need over there so where students comes for a lot of times where they have a doubt and everything so those places actually what we have so mostly actually what my students actually what where they face problem is during an installation of actually what any software it might be a java or might be eclipse or might be selenium id or web driver so those are the places they have issues okay so based on that only the documents have been created see if you see eclipse over here see here yeah. so right now we have here so how to download the eclipse everything will be with clean screenshots for us and then after the download over there how to open the eclipse and then how to create a project i'm just running fast over there so that you guys will be re receiving these documents soon once we start the session how to create the project a package then a class then after that actually what how to write a basic program okay so like that the basics of it. because everyone at the initial stage you will face an information actually what how to work on each and everything so those things we will be covering here so no need to worry then how to install my java and jdk everything and how the execution of java jdk will be there all those things actually what we will be covering here so just running first everything will be with screenshots only that's what i want to show here then after that if i take some topics over there the collection ap which is an important topic so mac also actually what uh, follows a very small thing so i can just give you some uh, youtube videos or i can just tell you actually what uh, how to uh, the links over there actually what how to install your java eclipse all those things there is no installation of eclipse over there it's so easy uh, i can refer you those places over there that is easy nothing uh, difference over there in the mac so list q note what are the difference everything will be given over there in the blue shots like that same thing we have for everything typecasting by excel usage and everything same thing if we go for the selenium that is also actually what with full and full with screenshots over there so if we have xpart Yes, yes, Prajna. 
uh, today i'll be after the session i'll be uh, asking all your email ids i'll be sharing all your details there. okay the topics as what are the things we are going to cover so the entire document i'll be sharing so xpath everything with screenshots the tree structure and the same thing if you go for actually what the selenium id yes so if you have guys any doubts over there in during the session so it's like actually what you can i uh, no, no it's like actually what uh, today uh, um, i'm just uh, checking whether the speakers have some problem i hope so so it's like actually what uh, tomorrow onwards actually what uh, it will be clear so it's like you can unmute from your end and then you can ask me any time any doubts and all those things over there okay so that will not be a problem so today is actually what just give me a, uh, as there is a problem just give you one day so tomorrow actually what it will be rectified so that you guys can ask me doubts at any point of you can unmute from your end or after the session you can mail me or you can call me or anything whatever you want you can do okay so it's like the automation why you need automation selenium id how to install it and then how to work on with selenium id everything is with screenshots one more. like this the same thing if i go for selenium framework in framework also actually what our said we have clear information so it's like if you take j in it or test in j everything yes so every day the session will be recorded and then you guys will receive that recording within one hour of time after the session within one hour you will receive every day's recording that's why i'm recording the session every day you will be getting receiving the recording so the test ng how to install and what are the annotations we have on that how to work on it everything is documented for us the same thing for jnit also we have and then we have for the and maven all those things also log for j everything actually what we have our tools okay so entire informations most of the things are actually what documented for me auto it everything the same thing actually what then assignments level so it's like actually what when i take the topics it will be really good actually what if i give some assignments because when you practice by your end then only actually what whatever you learned you can confirm that you have understood and then you will be able to do it that conference will come for that we have assignments for everything so for java we have a lot of assignments just give me a minute so prime number fibonacci series factorial sum of numbers second largest number printing the values in a prebit base and then first eight will be even next eight will be odd like that some logical programs over there and then we have strings level assignments a loop for printing 1 to 100 print then for loops different kinds of assignments over there we have we have a lot of things then if there is a password text box how to write a code for the password text box for it and then find the average of actually what an element then second largest number in an array smallest number in an array and then if we have working on collections so in the collections level actually what how to get all those different types of assignments arrays we have abstracted interface what we have like that everything actually what we will have some assignments so that it will be easy for you to work on it so xpart level also when we work on it you guys will have some assignments for that the same thing if i go for my uh, selenium so in the selenium level web driver level we have so for the scrolling multiple windows working on multiple elements and then scrolling the window here handling frames over there mouse over tool tip then explicit weight how to take a screenshot assignment and then mouse over and then working on multiple windows 
file upload, file handling, then handling web tables, auto suggestion box, search box over there, and then drop downs over there, drag and drop, tool tip, like everything. So all different kinds of alerts, everything you will have different types of assignments. Because everything actually what, whenever there is an assignment, then only you will feel good actually what you are learning something. Okay. So that's what your everything session. And after that, every day once the session has been completed, so what I will be doing means I'll be actually what sending you actually what every day mails like this. Okay. So every day we will be sending some mails over there. So right now actually what it will be like this. So what are the topics that we have covered for that day and then the URL of the YouTube. Okay. I will be uploading the videos to the YouTube. So where to get the URL. Then after that, we have actually what, what are the code files that actually what that day we have written code, that information. Then if I give some assignments, that information you'll be getting. So this is how actually what every day, once the session has been completed, I'll be forwarding you the details. That's the thing. Okay. So this is what we will be getting. And should, uh, any questions so far guys as how my session will go and what are the documents will be shared and then assignments I'll be giving and then the recordings I'll be giving everything. So that's what for today and session I will say now it's in. So compared to the other trainers, I am a little bit a slow trainer only because my sessions, how it will run means. So for me, actually what? Completing the session faster is not important. Whenever you're completing it, you should feel that actually what you are a capable of actually what writing the code by yourself. Okay. So that's why every topic I'll take two to three programs. So one or two programs actually what I will execute. Then one or two programs I will make you guys to execute in the class itself. So that it will be full and full interactive. I will make each and everyone to write at least two to three lines of code on a day because when you do that practice you will feel comfortable more on writing the code by yourself okay so that's why this exercise will be followed so most of the days you will be executing it it takes time but end of the day if you see that you will go in a actually what an happy way that actually what you have learned and then you were able to write the code by yourself that's the one thing. So my session will be slow, but end of the session, if you, you will feel that actually what, when you're completing the course, you will feel that actually what I have learned completely Java Selenium framework. Okay. That's what the entire motto of the session. Okay. Guys. Any questions from anyone? Uh, the duration will be actually what 2.5 months. So it's like actually, there will be a one week extra might go or we can finish it by 2.5 months of it because it depends on actually what the interaction and everything that we have in the session. So it will be a Monday to Friday session every day morning, 7.30 to 8.30. Okay. Cool. So if guys have any questions or something, we can go forward. Otherwise we can stop by today. And uh, nothing. the first 10 minutes I just told about uh, myself. So my years of experience and then uh, what is my automation uh, right now? I have five years I'm into automation. I've trained 5,000 plus students. I'm a corporate trainer. I'm a guest lecturer for some colleges over there. That's what I'm just, I was covering over there for the first 10 minutes. That's the one thing. So just today as what are the things that we covered totally, if you see, we just elaborated over there as what are the topics that we will be covering for the entire session. And then as what documents will be shared to you and how assignments will be given to you. And then how the recordings will be forwarded to you every day basis. That's what we have covered for this entire day. Okay. So today we just saw what we have done. So tomorrow I will say actually what, what we are going to do is we are not going to go into the topic, but tomorrow, so we will do an exercise. So for example, uh, I know that most of them, you guys don't know about Java. 
Okay, so it's like we will be learning the Java and everything actually, but from Monday onwards, actually, but in a very, very basic way. So, how to start it. But tomorrow, I will show you actually what how coding logic building is easier. Tomorrow, we're going to see about the logic building. For example, we have some of five numbers, how to get the values of it. So, Fibonacci series, how to work on it. Like those basic things, we should not write the code, we should build the logic for it. How to build the logic? There is a, uh, a standard practice to follow. So how to do that? That is what tomorrow we will be seeing. Okay. okay. So tomorrow also actually what the same meeting ID which you have joined today, the same meeting ID you guys will be joining. Okay. And I need everyone's mail ID. Can if everyone can chat me your window, chat me. I can just forward today's recording and then the session topics uh, that we will be covering for the entire session. Everything I will forward to you. Is possible everyone can forward your email ID in the chat window so that actually what I can take that and then I will forward to you actually what end up, uh, after the session completes. I will forward you the details. Okay, cool. Guys. So once if you're forwarded the mail ID, you can just leave for the day. So I will actually watch, share you the details in another half hour. Okay, I have received one, two, three, four, five. From five members, I have received over there. So. Cool. Thanks, guys. So, if anyone wants to send me actually what your email ID or something, you can also actually what uh, ping me in the WhatsApp or ping me through your actually what uh, to your uh, consultancy persons over there, so that we can just forward me. Okay. Cool. Thanks, guys. So, with this, I'll stop it for today. So, tomorrow actually what we will again meet by the same time, the same meeting ID. 7.30 a.m. Indian Standard Time. Thank you. Bye, guys. Thank you so much.